So you just need basic shapes and you don't know where to get them. Not a problem. All complex objects start out simple. And anytime you need a simple shape fast, go to the tool menu, double click on the star, and you'll see a list of basic objects that you can start with. It covers everything you would probably need, like a sphere, cube, cylinder, cone, donut rings, tops, terrain, flat planes, flat circles, points, spirals, springs, shurikens, and spheelinders, which is like when a sphere and a cylinder have a kid. It's perfect for making things like Samus's morph ball. But anyway, if you click on any of these objects, down on the right, you'll see the option to initialize. These literally work the exact same way that they would when you shift A a new object in Blender. And while each object is different, they all share basic similar values. X, Y, and Z determine which direction the object is facing. X size stretches horizontally, Y size stretches forward, and Z size stretches vertically. Coverage usually means how much of a complete circle should an object be. H divide is horizontal divisions, V divide is vertical divisions, twist allows you to turn things into a screw. And anytime you see profile settings, it will change the shape of the object. You can see depending on the shape of the graph, the real objects get affected. Now my personal favorite out of all of these is the shuriken, because you can make some really cool cylinder designs for wheels, shields, and weapons. The shoulder pads for all the aliens in my game were made from changing the settings on the shuriken. So definitely play with that one if you get the chance. Once you are happy with the initialized settings, click Make Polymesh 3D and you will immediately be able to start sculpting on it. Initializing these kinds of objects is a great way to play with simple shapes fast. Hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.